about like that. Okay, let's see how that looks. Let me grab the cord here. Mm-hmm. Nice. Alright, let's see how we're looking. Okay, a little championship, huh? Well, first of all, I need to make sure I'm actually capturing the video before we get into this. Test this real quick. Hello. 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 Oh, I might have the camera facing the wrong. Oh, I just realized. That. Okay. Oh, I, might have the camera I realized what it is. Hang on. Oh, I just realized. That. Hang on. Let's see. What if I move this? This, let's put this over here. Yeah. That over there. This over here. Okay. Okay, now you can see what's going on. There we go. So let's uh, check the audio again. Now you can see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's uh, check the audio again. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'll probably want to keep this muted. Okay, let's minimize this. Yeah. That way I can kind of pull this up every now and then. See if there's anyone here in chat. Okay. And you can still see the gameplay, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. Okay. You can see a little bit of the background too, but I think I'm fine. Check, check, check. See if there's anything I need to put away real quick. No, I think we're good. Okay, so the World Championship 2023 event's underway. Uh, so there's a new event going on. Okay, I guess that's what we'll do for stream. I mean, 2 through 15. Now, again, I doubt we'll participate in regionals, but basically we're just here for the free gems because I'm sure there are some, yeah. New accessories. Oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, with that being done, let's uh, turn this up. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's just uh, go here to the missions. We'll do some daily missions first. Whoa, yeah, tons of gems available in the world qualifier. So, very good, very good. Okay, well, let's just uh, get right into it, shall we? I have no idea what the meta is or will be, but we're going to roll with Venoms right here. Also, there may be a specific ban list for, um, yeah, for this uh, event, you know, because some events have a specific ban list, so. Okay, dokie. But yeah, we're just going to roll with Venoms. Oh, nice, just for starting in level 1, 200 gems? Yeah, that one is worth it. Um, so, luck the deck. Copy for my deck. We're going to go with Venoms. Venoms for the regional event. This one right here. The one with more floodgates than anything else. Alright, let's do it. Let's see if we can get some gems, boys and girls. Alright, wish me luck. Alright, this ought to be fun. 
We'll be going first. Let's do it. Oh, nice music. Very nice. I like it. We'll go with Stealth Burster. <laughs> this guy's shotgunning Maxi. Still the same good old Master Duel. We'll set two in our turn. Over to you. Alright. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Yeah, this music's honestly pretty good. Black Wings, uh oh. Well, we're probably getting no TK here, but it's all good. <laughs> yeah, Black Wings. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna flip this now. <laughs> yep, Black Wings are pretty powerful. This guy started with two max C too. That's pretty lucky. Yep, should go into uh, wise tricks here. Raid Raptor wise tricks. Start the combos. Yeah, this should definitely be over. Because they should be able to do their rank up combos and stuff, so. Yeah. lagging here? I think we are. Uh oh. Nope. Sorry, Yammer. I think I might have timed out. Oh, there we go. Shirai? Oh, Rusty Bardich, yeah. yeah. That's another good uh, Link 3. Pretty good, yeah. And all the Raid Raptor cards do work with Phantom Knights, so. Pretty good. There's the rank up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's the uh, trap that becomes a level 4. Free level 4 something. Oh. Battle phase, huh? I guess we'll play damage equals reptile here. Wait, did I miss the prompt for damage equals reptile? Oh, if I did, that that sucks. Because it should have asked me, yeah? Oh, man. Yeah, that sucks. I missed the prompt. Didn't hit on fast enough. Yeah, we missed out on a free phenomenon there. Duster, wow. Um, That's not too bad, all things considered. Okay, I guess we'll duster. Hoppy's no Haneboshi. Wow, if only I had a stronger follow-up, this actually wouldn't be too bad. Because with the uh, Stealth Burster, we can pop this shit. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is crazy. Yep, if we had prompt uh, damage equals reptile there, we'd be in real good shape here. Wow.
Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag, lagtacularness here. That's okay. Uh, that's it. Turns over. All right. Well, I guess I'll check on chat. Mm. Especially since I bricked here. Oh yeah, he's got more combos. So. Good idea. Let's check on chat. Mm -hmm. Right here. And I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Make sure I can see everything. Yeah, yeah. No. Do, do, do. We're good. There. What you got, buddy? Probably gonna go into more Y Strix again. Because I don't think right Y Strix is limited to one, so. I'm very, very surprised you didn't OTK us last time. That honestly shocks me. Overlay this time. Raiders Night, yeah. Mm hmm. Good stuff. I'm sure this this one floats, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, it's not gonna matter, but. I'm pretty sure Raiders Night does float. Whoa. Dark Requiem. Hmm. So, uh, right now, this thing has no effects. But he can Zeus. I mean, you know, it's not bad. Zeus with uh, two or three materials? Oh no, no Zeus. Okay. Whatever. Rise of the Snake. Oh wow. Yep. No bueno. I guess we'll set two pass. Try to bluff him out. Oh, it's destroyed. What? Why was that destroyed? I guess Raiders Knight effects. Destroyed in the oh, hmm, interesting. Well, we're not dead yet, which is shocking. Face down. Wow, this has lasted way more turns than I expected, considering we, br we bricked. Stealth burster. Let's go. All right. All right, stealth burster, you're up, buddy. Do me proud, but buddy. Will attack. Wow, got through. Okay, I end my turn. If we draw Ammonite next turn, that wouldn't be too bad. What you got, Yammer? Yo matter. You've got a Raider's Wing. This is the one that gives protection, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Can't target this card with card effects. That's pretty good. Raijiki, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Smart move, though, because what you want to do against Stealth Burster is, yeah, he's special summon this, I'm pretty sure, but, yeah, place the counters on this, and then, uh, triple tag. Wow, smart. And then, uh, yeah, go from there and overlay. I guess I shouldn't have even used the effect, but... I'd even consider Triple Tactics Talent. But he should win for sure now. No? Wow, we got lucky. I guess we'll pop this, I guess. I mean, well, it's got zero attack. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. So, what can we do here? Well, I can finally mill and get Nunu. Or, um, mill for Nunu. Hmm. Actually, let's do this instead. Let's try. Let's see if he has an Ash. He probably does by this point. And if he does, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Not a problem. Guess that means we're using Stealth Burster. So, yep. Stealth Burst it is. Because we don't want him to overlay and give it uh, protection. So, bye bye. All right, we're gonna end the turn. <laughs> this duel is nuts, man. We're both just summoning stuff with zero attack points in attack mode. 
He could have really had us there, though. At one point, he attacked with directly with, uh... What was that? The Dark Rebellion Exceeds? Uh... Yeah, this card. If he had went to Zeus, we'd be so screwed. Alright, damage equals Reptile. You're finally up. You're up, buddy. Alright, let's see... Yeah, that only works on normal summon. What shall we take? We can take something really good. <laughs> I should probably just take another Stealth Burster, yeah? Yeah. Uh, actually, let's take this for now. Believe it or not, it's 1700 defense might matter here. There we go. Could have also taken Nunu, but, you know... We're running a little low on life, so... Also, this does have Piercing Bora. We gotta be careful. That's that's exactly why I didn't take Nunu. Piercing. Oh, another one. Wow. Now, well, let's see here. Yeah, I guess we'll just D up. Your move. Hmm. <laughs> He's been sitting on the hand of... Uh, who knows what, man. Maybe another Ash Blossom or something? Cause he's just been kind of sitting there. Okay, well he got his combo. Yeah, can't target it with car. Okay. Yep, he got the combo. Four Strix, yeah. Mm-hmm. There it is, okay. Yeah, this ought to be the end of the duel for sure. Cause, yeah, now he's gonna get to add one to his hand, so... Yeah, that should do it, for sure. Shiny, stinging Lannis, yeah. Yeah, that should be the end of the duel right there. Oh, I just thought, I should probably share this while I'm, uh... Let's see... Yeah, let me share, check on chat here, share the stream real quick. Okay, we're good. Nothing in chat going on, let's just share this to my... My tweeter real quick. This might cause the game to lag, but it's all good. All good in the hood. I'm sure we won't get prompted for anything here, so... Okay, tweet, and we'll go right back to the stream there. Yeah, that should be good. And we'll close Tweeter. Oh, I am getting prompted. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I, I don't even know what I was getting prompted for. Add from your deck to your hand. Uh, Nunu? I'm guessing. Be good. I might have timed out here, by the way, though. Because I was not paying attention. Nunu? Oh, we're still in it. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't end this. He just went into another Raiders night. Huh. Okay. Uh, send to the graveyard. Well, Venominaga. We've got two, by the way, in this deck, so not too much to worry about. Max C. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, this guy, this guy's been shotgunning Max C all game. But uh, yeah, I'm not getting a special summon. So, uh, nice try, buddy. Nice try. Alien Kid. Hmm. Well, this could be good. Do you negate? Can detach. Do you negate? Okay. Well, I think we might be good here. Let's, uh, new new effects. So, new new will mill a dark reptile. Let's mill. Well, we have damage equal to reptile. Let's just mill this. Uh huh. New new effects. So, new new returns to the field. Nice, no DD Crow. Okay. Now we go into Alien Kid. Very good. And it's time for King of the Pharaoh P Imps. Ooh, I could also do Echidna. Yeah, I could Echidna, and... Uh, wouldn't be too bad. Should I? No, 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 that's Overlay. Yeah, let's just go for King of the Pharaoh Imps here. There we go. Alright. King of the Imps. Very good. Okay. And let's attach Nunu. Of course, we'll take uh, Ammonite after all this time, yeah. That'd be pretty good here. Okay. What graveyard effect do I have? Oh, right, right, right. Nope, don't necessarily need that. So let's just 
battle. Wait, does this have any protection? I know this protects from card effects. What about battle? Oh no, yeah, it protects from just card effects, so... Okay... Main phase 2. I guess we'll get ready for the possibility that we can play Golgar. Uh... Yeah, because Golgar... would be good. Yeah, the alien synchro here. We're gonna turn face-up spells and traps. Well, if we're lucky, we can make it past this turn. We did dump a lot of reptiles. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. And he's not running any shufflers, right? Nope. Nope. I'm surprised we're doing this well in this duel. Honestly, I thought it'd be over after you played Wise Tricks, especially the triple tack too, and the Raigeki. I was just like, oh man, it is over. But I guess not yet. That's a special summon. Another special summon. Okay. Hmm. Going into level 5, that's not good. Hmm. He might have a link 3 here. Like some more. Or just. Oh, yeah, I think Raid Raptors do have a rank 5 too. So that's not good. Oh, he timed out. Did he time out? Or did he just quit? He surrendered. Wow. <laughs> well, we won our first duel. That was a strange one. Maybe he, like, lost connection or something. Wow, well, we got lucky there. The fighting spirit ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Okay, let me... Check it as a chat here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and we shared everything, so... Alright, back to the duels. Let's duel. Not bad for our first... Uh, thing in the World Championship. First duel in the World Championship. Going first again. Alright. Yeah, somehow we just hung in there. <laughs> we bricked so hard in our starting hand, but I guess he did too. Alright, time to duel. Snake Green, let's go. First turn. Okay. Let's see if he's got an Ash. Actually, it doesn't matter, because I've got called by... Ha! Huh. So, we'll dump Telepath. Show me that Ash! Oh, no. Okay. So, we'll dump this. And we have Stealth Burster, so let's dump this one. Let's dump Nunu, of course. Where's Nunu? Nunu. And one more. What's in our hand? We have Water Lily, too. Let's just dump... Uh, Aron? Yeah, let's dump Aron. Okay. New new effects. Special summon new new. He's thinking. Maxi, huh? Hmm. How about no on that Maxi? How about no? How about you don't draw two cards off me? Or more. How about no, buddy? <laughs> Take the finger, buddy. Yeah. Give me my new new. Alright, we're good. And we'll stealth burster. And we'll normal summon. King of the Pharaoh Imps. Mm-hmm. Bazinga. Nice. Huzzah! King is here. Oh yeah, baby. Detach Nunu. Attempt to add Ammonites. Oh, we got it. I'm surprised we didn't get Ash there. Um, so now there's one, two, three, four reptiles with different five reptiles with different names. I could water Lily and summon a Venomanon. Normally I don't this early, but I think I'm going to, just because we negated Max C this turn. So, I definitely want to do this now. Normally I would wait till we have Rise of the Snake Deity too, you know, but, uh, yeah, we'll go with Phenomenon. 
Well, I also could have went into the, uh... Hmm, interesting. I could have went into the Auron as well. Auron would have been pretty good there, I think. Yeah, if your opponent adds, you can send. Hmm. Well, let's see if I regret that. We'll, we'll end. We'll end turn there. Let's see if I regret that or not. Hmm. That would be a good card in our... Well, not necessarily. I like stuff in the grave. We do play a lot of darks in this deck, though. So, what are we working with? Black Wings again. Oh, wow. Wow. I guess Black Wings the meta in this, uh, but they did just get a structure deck, right? So that kind of makes sense. And Black Wings, the Black Wings structure deck, if you just put three of it in a deck, it's honestly pretty good. Pretty good. If we get enough gems throughout the festival, I might just consider doing just that. Just roll with Black Wings, you know? We'll see. Oh boy, it's over. <laughs> you see Black Whirlwind, it's just like, oh man. And I don't have an interruption right now, so... Yeah. Definitely should be over. Unless they combo wrong, which... It is a possibility, so... Let me check on... What's going on here? Yeah, they could always combo wrong. That is... That is true. Um, yeah, they could always combo wrong. That is... That is true. Audio and everything looks good. Oh man, let me get a drink. Well, I guess since this event's going on, I'll stream for like eh, maybe two and a half hours, and we'll call it good. Call it a day. And this one lets you synchro from the deck, right? Uh, yep, yeah, yeah. That's pretty busted, Vata. Blackwing Vata, the Emblem of Wandering. Pretty good card. To be able to synchro from the deck. I, I never thought I'd, be, I'd see the day where a Yu-Gi-Oh card will let you synchro. Because, like, I mean, yeah, there were some effects uh, in 5Ds that let you synchro from the hand. Like, uh, Nordics. Nordics would, would let you, if you had the right, uh, I think it was Ascendant, you could synchro with it and two cards from the hand to go into, like, uh, Odin or Loki or whatever. Or Thor. But uh, synchroing from the deck, and you mill it, basically, due to the effects, you send it from the deck. Yeah, you basically mill from the deck, so that the total level is equal 8. So not only can you mill this, like, let's say you go... So this, plus another 2, plus a 4, basically it's a free mill of any 2 cards you want, and you get a synchro monster? Unless that gets ashed or something, or negated. That's pretty busted, really. That's pretty busted, so... Um, I don't know if this card's out in the... Out in the TCG, but like, yeah. Yielding 2 from the deck, and... Uh... Getting a Synchro? That seems ban worthy to me. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's actually underpowered. Uh... <laughs> for the meta. There is a good chance that that's actually underpowered, which is hilarious to think about. Like, does this even lock you, like, does this lock you into a winged beast? Special summon, except dark monsters? I mean, that's not really locking you for the rest of the turn, though. Like, if it locked you into dark winged beast monsters, black, dark winged beast black winged monsters, I'd be okay with it, because that's a pretty good lock, but just dark monsters? There's plenty of good dark monsters you can go into. For example, a level 10. Full Armor Master. Royal. Ooh, fancy. Very, very fancy. Yeah. There's their their new synchro out of the structure deck. Pretty good. Unaffected by other cards' effects. Anytime you see that, it's a pretty good card. Yep. Wedge counter. So the only way you can get over this, Kaiju or Battle. I actually probably should play one Kaiju in this deck. It's actually a good idea. Once per turn during your end phase, can destroy all monsters that have a Wedge counter. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. And this is a... 
tuner, right. Yep. So they can go into another ten. Or just a six. Like, uh, they have a Black Feather Armored Wing, too. Which ain't bad. Also, this card can bounce Black Whirlwind and reset Black Whirlwind so you can use it again. I don't know if he's done that yet or not. Oh, he has a check. Yeah, I guess he has already done Zephyros. Hey, yeah. Oh, they have a new six. Oh, I haven't really... Not too familiar with this one. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and this is a Synchro Tuner monster. Interesting. Hmm. With a level modulation effect. Pretty good. Okay. Interesting. So now he's got two fours. More importantly, he got to mill whatever other card he wanted. That's that's the real key to that effect. So. Alright, well. Ah, smart. Taking on Venomenon first, huh? Yeah, that's pretty smart, honestly. Um, do I want to revive Venomenon? Yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. So we'll revive Venomenon. We'll banish, uh... No, we need Telepath in the grave. Well, since I didn't play it before, we'll banish Aron. Yeah, since I didn't... Summon it with Water Lily. But, uh, yeah, I was just thinking, do I regret not summoning it? Kind of, because, uh... Honestly... Oh, he attacked with that. Well, Zephyros can't attack me directly, so... Can't get past my King of the Feral Imps, so... I'm fine with that. But yeah, honestly, if we had gone with Aron, we at least would've got one card out of him when he Black Whirlwind did it, did it, did Oh, yeah, and they got this new trap. This new trap is so sick, bro. Yeah. It's a basically a quick effect uh, Synchro Summon. So I guess he will get past King of the Feral Imps. Nice. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. You got me on that one. You really got me. Yep. So I was just like, yeah, all these got Zephros, so... And it's all good. It's not like we, we lose this turn or anything. But he does control the board, which is pretty crucial. And if uh, Blackling's ever said anything, just know it's probably Icarus attack, you know. Um, now this is unaffected, right? Yeah, unaffected by card effects, so let's place this on... Which one's worse here? If Special Summon... During your main phase, you can... Ah, uh, that sounds problematic. We'll probably place the counter on that one. What about this one? Uh, yeah, this one sounds way more problematic. Extra normal summoning? Yeah. <laughs> we'll play a counter on that. Alright. Just ending this turn, huh? Okay. Mass Hypnosis. Wow, that could be potentially very good. Us. Uh, let's take Sinister Serpent. We might be uh, screwed here, though. Let's see. I don't know if any of these has negation, but let's just try for our main line. This is our main line, Ammonite. So, I guess if Ammonite gets negated, I can Mass Hypnosis. Uh, let's take... Hmm, Destroying Spells and Traps would be kind of good here. Okay, we'll try for Telepath. What's that? Is that... What's that doing? Does it destroy? If so, we're pretty screwed. Lowered it to zero. Oh, it does negate. Interesting. Well, actually, that's not the end of the world. Because we can... Hmm. Yeah, with Ammonite, we can actually take control of this card. So... I guess we'll set it. What other effect can I activate here? Mm, I could pop it. Mm, probably don't want to do that. Okay. I think I'll start the turn by just flipping Mass Hypnosis, though. Yeah. Standby. Yeah, let's just go ahead and flip this now. Because I don't want him to get the extra summon, so... There we go. Yoink. Uh, gimme. There we go. Probably doesn't help too much in the grand scheme of things, but it might. Alright, 
let's check chat real quick. Do 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 do. We're good. Not too much going on here. I love this music though. Listen to this music. It is epic, bro. Man. <laughs> it's like we're losing, but like I still feel I'm still feeling this music, man. That is they went all out on the soundtrack here. Pretty cool. Alright. Assault Wing Dragon. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, and that's game. 3,000 exactly. Mm. Not bad. Alright, so we're 1-1 one one in the World Championship. Yep. Yeah, Black Wings are seriously good, though. Like I said, if we get enough gems, I may just get three of the st structure deck, and hey, we'll just roll with that. Um... Let's see here, yeah. Bunch of gems here. Oh, we got a lifetime gem too. What did we get for lifetime? You banish your opponent's card. Oh, wait, when did I do that? What? <laughs> Is it because they banished their own card? Yeah, I didn't play any banish effects that duel. I mean, I know he played two, uh... He played two Allure of Darkness. <laughs> I guess that counts. Fine by me. All right. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's see what we get next. So far, it's just been uh, Wing Beast. Uh, first was uh, kind of Raid Raptor combo, Phantom Knights, and then Black Wings. So I guess let's see if we see another Wing Beast deck. If so, that'd be pretty funny. Three Wing Beasts in a row. Mm, summon Limit is good. Did we go first? Oh, nice, nice. Okay, new no effects. New new bye bye. And we will dump. So we can send a dark reptile. What do we got? Oh, we do have a uh, limit. Ooh, limit reverse. And damage equals reptile. Um, since we have limit reverse, let's go with this one. Yeah. New new effects. Alright, does he have Max C? Wow, no Max C, no Ash. I am shocked. Alright, Feral Imps, here we come. This is the main play for the deck, obviously. Pretty simple to do. And then we can set up our Floodgates and Revival cards and Special Summon cards. As long as we don't get Dustered here, which... Eh, Lightning Storm and Duster are pretty common, though, so... Oh yeah, I forgot to add a kaiju to this deck. Let's take... Let me think here. What should we take? Let us take... Let's take Stealth Burster to start. Try for Ammonite next turn. Yeah, Stealth Burster. I like Stealth Burster. And we will set three. Your move, buddy. Kind of deck are we up against here? It's probably going to prompt me for damage equals reptile, so we would off here. What kind of deck or is he running? Okay, main one. Are we going to see the duster? Are we going to see the lightning storm? Hopefully not. He's thinking. What is that? Oh. Yeah, that's just as bad, honestly. Pendulum Magicians, huh? Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a scale two. Hmm. That's their main... Yeah, they love Duelist Alliance. Uh, not good. No way I can stop that. But uh, Pendulum Magicians can basically get full combo off of Duelist Alliance. Usually they take, uh, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. That or Astrograph Sorcerer, which tells me he probably has Astrograph in hand. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they'll probably Pendulum Summon here. Wait, would Summon them in... Oh, I probably should have played that first, huh? Well, I think this counts as one summon, yeah? Well, good thing he only summoned two monsters. Okay, let's flip this. Yeah, thankfully he only summoned two monsters here. Hopefully that'll stop this combo. But we'll see. Uh, attack boost, huh? That's good. What is this doing? Whoa. You currently control... Uh, well, you don't control... Well, I guess you control Pendulum. Yeah, okay. So he's activating the Stratos lock effect, I see. That's smart. That's smart. That's pretty good. Pretty smart. Now, this can uh, do some other stuff, too, yeah? No, I'm thinking of the trap. Yeah, I'm thinking of the time pendulograph. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that one's pretty dangerous, too, because it lets you, like, destroy your own scales and search for stuff, or destroy your own scales and destroy stuff. Pretty dangerous, yeah. Okay. Mm okay. So, see, yeah, I guess uh, Pendulum Summons, I guess that only counted as one summon, because it he did he was allowed to overlay there. Um, uh, I see. Not bad. Not bad at all. This would let me get a pretty strong monster, though, if he just straight up attacks. Um, yeah, I guess we'll let him attack. Battle Fox. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna use the effect, no? Oh, damage equals reptile, baby. Nope. 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 Time for the quick effects. Boy, he's gonna consider it. Oh, he did not. Okay. I'll still activate it. Damage equals reptile. Time to get phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. It's so broken that phenomenon has phenomenon has zero attack. <laughs> I, I, I just, that is just too easy. Too easy. Return us to the extra deck. Well, he can't do that because uh, summon limit. But he could do it during his turn, so that's kind of problematic. Main two. Let's see if he sets one. In phase? Okay, good. Uh, believe it or not, I think I am going to limit reverse here. Yeah, because we want to search with uh, Nayuya. Nayuya, special summon effect. Yeah. We want that water lily, baby. Gimme. Alright, we're doing good here. Real good. Oh, what's this thing? This thing has a lingering effect? What was it? Oh, the search. The search. The search. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We gotcha. We gotcha. Okay. Code A. Ooh. Ooh, we might be able to pop off this turn. Okay. No negatey boys, right? Alright. Well, at least not right now. He can use that quick effect anytime. Let's uh, special summon Nyuya, first of all. Nyuya, special summon. Uh huh. So we only get two summons, too. I didn't think about that before I did this, but that's okay. So we'll take that. And. Let's go with... Let me think here. Hmm. Maybe Echidna's the right move. Because I only get one more summon, huh? Yeah, Echidna. So we'll overlay Nyuya. We'll link these two. Okay, Echidna. Reptilian Echidna, baby. Alright, we'll use her effects. 
That might make him prompt the quick effect, honestly. Yes, zero, baby. And since you've got zero attack, I now get a search bolt. So we'll definitely get um, Ammonite off of this. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And so if he uses the battle effect, he only gains half, right? Change that to zero. Gains attack equal to the... Okay. So we should have this. Uh, so we've already summoned twice. Let's, uh... Let's just try this. See if he uses the other quick effects. Kidna, go. Yeah, I should definitely force his hand here to do something. And if and if Echidna goes to the grave, that's honestly good for us because Venomanon's only at 15. Halved, okay. And then combo it with your damage manipulation? What did he banish? Hmm, interesting. Recasting? Huh. Nice, nice. Okay. Alright, Venomenon, you're up. Nice. Yeah, we played that just right. Okay, we got past, that's basically his boss monster we got past there. So let's, uh, oh, I forgot we could still set. Should I set Stealth Burster? Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, I forgot summon limit. Yeah, you only get two summons, but, uh, yeah, you can actually still set. Good idea. And since we did set it, let's play Code A. Yeah. <laughs> What grave effect do I have here? Uh, oh, no, 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 we don't, we don't want to play that. Okay. You are moved, buddy. Alright. Got our floodgates up. We're doing good. Got phenomenon. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, we might be screwed here now. Because <laughs> now he's not under summon limit. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, man. Yep. Hmm. So you can go between 2 and 8. Yeah, they're definitely going to combo off here for sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, of course, we'll take Venomanon back. So, not too worried about that. Supreme King Dragon Monster. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, Zark is very dangerous. I guess we'll revive Phenomenon. Let's see, let's banish King. Yeah. Come back, Phenomenon. Alright. Till the end of the turn, I see. I see. And what is this pendulum effect? Huh. Okay, it's not too bad. Interesting. Let's draw here. Planet Pollutant Virus. Ooh. Man, that is tempting. Each player banishes one spell card from their deck. Banish a card? Wait, this is optional? can banish one spell from their deck. No? <laughs> Why would I say yes to that? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's weird. Um, so what should I do here? Hmm. Honestly, maybe I should, uh, hmm, maybe I should do this. Cable Stealth Burster. Mm-hmm, he's thinking. So let's go for, yeah, Shock Trooper. The only reason I'm doing this is because Ammonite can revive, uh, can revive Stealth Burster anyway, so might as well do this. Uh, yeah. Use the effects. Uh, let's play some counters on this. 
Yeah, because we know his set is Soul of the Supreme King, right? Yeah. So there's really nope. no reason to chain or whatever. Nope. So let's go for Ammonite. Ammonite effects. Alright. So am I going to be able to play Golgar for the first time in this uh, tournament? Let's check it out. Looks like we're good. Uh, oh, wow. I could go into Topologic Zero Barrels. But uh, not too much is banished right now, so that's probably a bad call. Uh, well, I could go into BLS, too. Yeah. We wouldn't have the protection from BLS, so let's just do this. Let's just do this. All right. My boss monster, it is Cosmic Fortress. Cool guy, baby. All right. Now we can get some counters going and stuff. Okay, so now if an odd eyes card you control struck by battle. Okay, but this has an effect when you place it in the zone, right? No, 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 it doesn't. Okay, I'm trying to think what I want to destroy and what I want to bounce. Hmm, I think I want to destroy spells or effects. Ah, I see. Okay, well, I think we want to bounce this. Or should I destroy this? Leave your monster card or zone. Oh. Yeah, I, sh I should bounce this. I should bounce this for sure. Okay. And we'll destroy this one, I guess, toward the end. Place the counters on monsters. Uh, yeah, so we'll return this to the hand. Select another card. Yeah. Return this to the hand. Uh. Nope. We want to destroy that card, so let's leave it on the field. Uh huh. Let's place a counter on Golgar and a counter on uh, Golgar again. Okay, now we use Golgar. So let's remove, yep, destroy a card. Let's remove a counter from you. Let's remove a counter from you. And let's destroy this card. Do -do 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 -do. There it is. Alright, so here comes Zark. Very dangerous. Let's return to the extra deck during the end phase. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so that's gonna... Basically, he blocked my direct attack, is what he did here. Um, so let's set Planet Pollutant Virus. And I guess... Effects? What do we got? Oh, right, right, right. No, no, no. We don't want that. Okay, if this is destroyed... Yeah, I get something back. So let's just go here. Right. Add one of your Spanish spells and then discard it. Interesting. Huh. Is this one's return? Oh, it is. It is. Okay, okay. Okay. So... We get the maximum damage in here. Nice. All right, and at the end of the turn, this is going back, yeah? To the extra deck? Yeah, so. Okay, I end my turn. So you should go back by the effect of, wait, what? Why didn't this go back due to the soul of the Supreme King? Uh, I'm sorry? Return to the extra deck during the end phase oh, of the next turn. Oh, I see. Okay, but if I destroy it, uh, if I destroy it, then it can go to the pendulum zone, I think. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we want that. We might just have to take the 4,000, which is fine. Oh, darn, man, he got a pendulum call. The only good part about this is we've got planet pollutant virus backing us up, so. Since none of the stuff has A counters, we should be able to destroy everything. Let me check the chat real quick. This duel has been epic, bro. Pretty epic. Epic stuff. Check the chat. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yep. So basically, he gets to set up his scales with whatever he wants. Pendulum Call is so good, man. Yep. 
And then this is back. Nope, don't do anything. Can I target? Okay. Thankfully, it doesn't say trap or immune to trap effects. So, yeah, he's going to place the 8 skill. That's not really a sh surprise there. Okay. Oh, Poison Magician. Ooh, that is not good. Wow. Doesn't this thing have an effect when it's destroyed? Let's see. You have to destroy the battle card effect. You can target a face-up card on the field. Destroy it. Yeah, I remember that card. Pretty good. Well, he's Pendulum Summoning for one. Oh, I mean for two. I see. I see. Okay. Hmm. Wondering if I should Virus here. Let's see, when this is destroyed by card effect, you can place it in your Pendulum Zone. But as Pendulum Zones are blocked... You know what? This is the perfect time to activate this. So, tribute shock, shock Tripper. Yes. Oh, thank you, game. Yeah, this is the perfect time to activate this because his zones are blocked. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? And he already pendulum summoned. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we made it past that just fine. Okay, so what do we want to destroy next for Gol for Golgar? Ooh, and we got Alien Telepath. Ooh, nice. Um, so this has an effect when it's destroyed. Target a face-up on the field, destroy it. So we'll want to get rid of uh, uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's use Golgar. Place the counters on the monsters. Yep, get rid of you. Select another card. Get rid of you. Select another card. Nope. Oh, Golgar, so good against Pendulum decks, bro. Okay, we should have this. I uh, forget this thing's effect, but uh, let's just destroy it. Destroy one card, yeah. Detach. And let's just get rid of this. Does it have an effect when it's destroyed? Oh, it's the same one. Darn it. No, Golgar! You did me proud, though, buddy. Well, now that we have no reptiles, I can use Nunu. So let's, uh... Actually, let's go for a cooler finish. I have Venomenon in deck, right? No, I don't. Uh, let's send Aron. Pretty sure I can revive Venomenon at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Venomenon, where art thou? Come here, buddy. Big number! <gasps> Alright. We win. Okay. What am I now? Poison Shock Venom. Oh yeah, baby. That actually makes me feel pretty good. Because, you know, uh, Pendulum Magicians are pretty consistent. So, for, uh, <laughs> for my Venomenon deck to win, that's actually... Yeah. I guess we did uh, get lucky he didn't have any, like, hand traps or anything to interrupt us, but... Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so we're, like, what, uh, two and two? Alright, let's check the chat now. Make sure I'm not missing it. Okay, we're good. Um, we've been streaming about an hour, okay. Alright. Well, let's uh, see what re rewards we got so far. I'm actually going to take a little uh, bathroom break here, real quick. Nice. Alright, well I'll be right back. Actually, let's leave it on the reward screen. Wow, we already got 600 gems from this festival. Yeah, festivals are like aces for getting gems, bro. Nice. Alright, see you guys in a minute.
back here, chat? Alright. Let's do it. Let's see here. Once again, let me double check myself here. Um, Alright, looks like chat's good. Let's see. Yeah, okay. And let me do a, another sound check. Testing, testing. Alright, looks like chat's good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Alright, back to the tournament. World Championship Qualifiers. Yep. If nothing else, man, we're gonna get a slew of gems. So yeah, I recommend the same if you're... Especially if you're new to Master Duel. Yeah, participate. I mean... It may be tough if you're new, but like... I know you may lose a bunch of times, but the gems itself are worth it, bro. Because they're, they're free. They're just free and sitting there for you. We've been getting lucky to go first. Hopefully we draw a uh, summon limit again. Alright. Duel. Hmm. Interesting first hand. Hmm. Let me think here. You could go Immortal of Thunder into Shock Trooper. It's not very good, though. Uh, maybe we should, though. Mm hmm. Hmm. Actually, let's uh, try to water Lily. What am I thinking? We won't get the revival for Lily, but uh, Ash, show me that Ash. Oh, Maxi. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Something interesting we could do here. This is normally a play I would not make, especially on the first turn, but, uh... Hmm, I could go into BLS first turn with protection. Uh, well, you did play Max C, though. That's the problem. That's the only thing holding me back. All right, you got me. I don't want him drawing like three cards, cause yeah, that would require special summon, special summon. That would give him three free draws. So yeah, you got me. You got me. We'll just set down Stealth Burster. Okay. Yep. You got me, Maxie. You got me. Man, people love shotgunning Maxie in this event, though. I tell you what. Alright, let's see if we run into a Wing Beast deck for the fourth time this stream. I mean, is it the third or the fourth? I don't remember. Alright, let's go this. Face down card. Well, that's a good sign. Face down card. Uh, are we playing uh, Labyrinth? Is that what it's called? Or are we just playing... We could be playing Burn, too. Oh, face downs, you could be playing anything. End phase. Um, end phase. Oh, Melfi, huh? Huh, Melfi. Hmm. Okay, let's play Limit Reverse. Melfi. Interesting deck. So, I'm not actually too familiar with Melfi's. Hmm. They have some pretty interesting cards, though. Hmm. Okay, so we got Coltal, which is honestly really good. Let's flip this. A lot of them, like, a lot of, from what I remember, a lot of Melfis can, like, bounce. Or they have effects that can trigger to f get them into cards that can bounce. Hmm. Let me think here. Let's try to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's try to bait, because I still haven't normal summoned. Let's try to bait the, uh, the interruption. Because I, I kind of wanted to go into BLS there, but if it is... If the card effect is what I'm thinking it is, then, like, we should get bounced right here. Because it's like a quick effect or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Return this to the hand. Ah. You control... Wow, that's really good. Okay. <laughs> smart. Pretty smart. Okay, then he gets to play a... Beast type. Hmm. The worst part about that is he took away my special summon. Uh, cause with the Dark Reptile I could have special summoned, but uh... Okay, well we baited one thing, so let's go with Ascendant of Thunder there. Yeah. Let's see if we bait something else. Is this still the end of the turn, or is this for good? Oh, that's for good, wow. That's crazy. In perm. <laughs> well, I'm glad you wasted that, buddy. I am very happily glad you wasted that. Okay, Telepath. Uh, he played Imperm over here, right? No, 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 he played it right here, so. I think I need to summon in the zone right above King of the Pharaohs. Yep, we debated him hard on that one. Nice Imperm. Alright. Luckily, we successfully baited there, I'd say. Echidna. Echidna effects. Let's go. Sorry, King of the Pharaoh, I almost gotta do it to you, buddy. Down to zero. Okay. Effects. And we already have, um... Because normally I would search here for... Yeah, this. Uh, Coltsul, but we already have Coltsul. Then again, if you control a Dark Reptile... Oh... Hmm. Interesting. Let's add Coltsul. Huh. So it turns out having two Coltsul is pretty good under this combo. Yeah, because we can special summon the other Coltsul. Oh, wow. I never knew that till just now. Cool. Alrighty. Let's go into... Oh, you're right. I could go into this. Hmm. I think Golgar is better, though, because he has two A counters, so we can get an extra summon. Okay. That kid enough, please? Yes, I will. Idiot. Cosmic Slicer. Zero. Hopefully this guy doesn't have no mirror either. That would suck. That would big time suck. Okay. Yep, we get a card that places A counters. So let's take... Ooh, I can take Code A. Ancient Ruins. Let's do it. Okay, and so now, he has A counters, we have, uh, what you call it, in the grave, so we'll play Code A, Ancient Ruins. Oh wait, no, he doesn't have A counters. Oh, my mistake. Okay. Well, we could go into Top of Logic, or, <laughs> yeah, 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 Stealth Burster, but I think that's unnecessary. Alright, Zeral, get him. There's the Stealth Burster, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, it was attached to uh, Feral Imps. But that's okay, that means in Main Phase 2, we can do something special. Definitely glad I searched for Code A there. My mind was on the right track, so what would we want to do in Main Phase 2? Code A. A. Let's remove these. Uh huh. Stealth Burster, why don't you come back, buddy? Yeah, Defense Mode. And just to cap it off. Man, this is a great combo turn for us. Yep, Reptilian. All right. And we'll place her in the safest zone over here. Hello, my very soul. Reptilian, Belusile. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Pretty good turn. Yeah. Nice. Well, we made it past that switcheroo. That switcheroo, you know, bait and switch. Alright, five cards in hand though, Melfi's can pop off, so let's see what's gonna happen here.
hopefully they don't draw it obedient schooled, because that would suck. Obedient schooled is like their best card. I'm gonna have to remember that though if I ever draw into Reptilian uh, Kotal. This one? Yeah, to just add another one to my hand. Goes really well with the Echidna combo. Guess my opponent's reading here? Well, let's check chat. Speaking of reading, let me read the chat. Okay. Mm We're good. Well, I guess they might time out? What's going on here? There they go. They were like frozen for a second. Main one. Now they are taking a long time here. Make sure I don't like time out or something. Start clicking stuff. There it is. Fabled. Fabled. Okay. Are we up against the Fabled deck? Well, they're in battle phase. Evenly matched? But why would you not just... What is going on here? Yeah, why would you not just uh, drop the evenly first? Oh, okay. Evenly matched? Or are they basically just saying, like, I surrender? You got me. I think they're saying I surrender. Okay. Uh, I think we're good here. Wow. Weird. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's do this for no apparent reason. It's gonna go back to, uh, the hand, so it doesn't matter, but, uh, Caddy. Hmm. Targets it for an attack. You can return this card to the hand and then add one beast to your hand. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wait, targets. It has to be this monster specifically for an attack? Wow, yeah. Okay, well then, how about we don't target it for an attack or anything? What if we just set uh, damage equals reptile there? We don't summon at all. And we just uh, go straight to the battle phase? Oh, I see. Hmm, interesting. This is still in main phase, yeah? I see. Okay, well, we'll do this. Uh, da -da -da -da. Doesn't matter if it's targeted for effects. Okay. Okay. And so now he can immediately synchro. But you only have... Right, because this is a tuner, isn't it? So, what's going to happen here? Melfi Melfi's. Hmm. I see, I see. Smart, yeah. So they do bounce, I was right. If your opponent, normal or special summons, you can return this to the extra deck. I see. Okay, well, we'll put this down to zero anyway, before you leave. Sorry, Reptilian Me Melusine. Yeah, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Continue your main phase. Mm, no, there's no reason to. Okay, so we could go for damage, but uh, probably want to get rid of this thing, huh? Oh, if it gets targeted for an attack. 
And nope, we definitely want to go after this one. <laughs> okay, he just kind of left himself open for damage there. All right, well, I end my turn. Let's hope we don't get bounced somehow. Again. Yeah, that only works when the special summon, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So... Hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah, Melfi's do bounce, apparently, a lot. So I gotta be careful going going into extra decks. Monsters seems to be pretty uh, risky, so shall we say. Pretty risky, as does just summoning in general. Or targets it for an attack. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I wonder if each Melfi has that effect or no. No. Oh. Wait, and this says you can return it to the extra, then special summon a Melfi exceeds. Oh! Okay, because I was about to say. I was about to say, I don't think I want to attack because. Um. It seemed like he would get the same effect again, because it doesn't exclude itself, but... Well, luckily he, uh, lost connection or whatever. But if he had bounced, uh, Golgar there, yeah, we were in big trouble. Alright, so we get the win a duel three. Wow, so you get a hundred each for one, three, six... Oh, no, just one, three, and then you start getting fifty. I mean, fifty's still good, though goes all the way up to 25 wow yeah lots of gems you can get in this event awesome very awesome huh alrighty well let me see how long we've been streaming here do 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 an hour and 20 minutes okay we'll keep going a little bit Let's just duel here. It's time to duel. Chip chip qualifiers. Duel time. All right. Do 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 do. Huh? Something I just thought about. I probably should have done this a while ago. But well, let's see if I go first. Boom. We've been getting lucky to go first just about every time. Wow, yeah. Okay. Something I just thought about. I probably should uh, angle this light so you guys can see. Yeah. Kind of see the background there. As far as the card wall, anyway. Yeah, the pack wall. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got here. Ghost of a Grudge. First time we've seen you today. As well as Lightning Storm. Okay, so all we've got is new new, and that's basically it. So, I think I guess we'll meal with new new, and then pass. Yeah, that's basically all we can do. I guess we can set Ghost of a Grudge. Hope he combos too hard and uh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. New new effect. Go. Let's show me that ash. Catch him and joyous misty spring. Or, or let, let me see that shotgun of the Max C. Oh, this guy's. This person's smart. They actually ashed it. Alright. 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 Well, Ghost of a Grudge it is. Should I set two face downs? Nah. Man, that's like the second that's like the second time we've bricked though. Dr uh Venomanaga is a brick, but uh this is the goal of the deck. Yeah. What we want to draw is Rise of the Snake Deity, ideally. And we never want to draw this card. But, you know, it's a necessary kind of thing. But yeah, this thing is really good. Unaffected by card effects, also unaffected by other cards and their effects, so. Called by. Wow. I can't tell you how much that hurts. Well, our only playmaker is gone. 
That is rough. That is a rough one. Hmm. Let's see what else they do. Two cards on the grave. Are they running another winged beast deck? So we've seen like three winged beast decks, a uh, Melfi deck, and then what was that other deck we saw? Uh, it was. I forget what it is. Adventurer, say it ain't so. <laughs> yep. Well, adventurer could be any deck though. Well, let me see here. Hmm. Well, they are filling up their graveyard. Is that witchcraft? Let me see here. Doppel Warrior. Uh oh. If he goes into Junk Speeder, that's. That's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Junk Speeder would be no bueno. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, guys, it's over. I know we have Ghost of a Grudge, and they are going to fill their graveyard. The problem is, it's like the final Synchron board. It ends with, like, at least, like, three negates. So, I mean, if they do it right. So, uh, so that sucks. But, uh, it is what it is, man. Wait, does this stop them from special summoning the rest of the turn? Oh, does it? You cannot activate the effects of monsters on the field. Ooh, does it stop this? Or no? I mean, because if it does... Wait, are they just going to go into Stardust? There ain't no way, bro. You had, you had the Adventurer engine and... What? You can add a spell or trap that mentions Stardust. Okay. I was getting ready to say, I, there's no way it's just Stardust. That's... That is highly suspect, man. Alright. The problem is, uh... If they do just go into Stardust, it'd actually be their smartest move. Her smartest move. Because... <laughs> the one out we have is Lightning Storm. And, uh... I mean, right now, is Lightning Storm. And, uh... Yes. Lightning Storm don't work too good on Stardust, or whenever Stardust is on the field. Is it going to be Stardust? It's got to be Stardust. The good part is their Junk Synchron was negated somehow. Ah, uh, what the hell is that? Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Hmm. Quick effect, contribute this to special summon a Stardust. I see. Hmm. For the rest of the turn, the monster synchro summoner unaffected by uh, ooh, good to know. Good to know. So if he uses that tag out, I should not use Ghost with a grudge. I should not. Oh wait, this can't negate uh, Lightning Storm, right? Huh. No, it cannot. Although, they'll probably just do the 25 and then tag out. Because this is a quick effect, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Probably do the 25, tag out, and then, yeah. Go on from there. So if I do Lightning Storm, I want to go after the back row, basically. Why didn't he attack? What? What? You know not attack me. Are you sure about that? So do I even want to destroy this? That's the question. Uh, 
Uh, from your deck to your hand. Oh, yeah, I do want to take that out, honestly. So let's Lightning Storm. Boop. Uh, spells and Traps, because we don't want them adding more adventure stuff. Uh, nope. Yeah, and now we can trigger Ghost with a Grudge, too. That's smart. Uh, new, new. New, 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 new. New, 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 new. Wait, why was that negated there? What? Do, 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 Yeah, why did Nunu get negated? Oh, is it still because of called by? Uh, no. Why? Why Nunu negate? I have no idea. Okay, my turn's over. Unless it was Fateful Adventure. Uh. Why Nunu got negated there? Okay. Yeah, got me. The good part is Ghost of a Grudge is online. So, yeah. We can beat the Stardust combo with literally anything. What you got, girl? Uh oh. Assault Synchron. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. So she could go into Baron the Flower. Which would honestly be pretty good here. Do 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 do. Hmm. They got another Junk Synchron. I'm kind of screwed here. Send one Stardust Monster. Um, special Summon it. Okay. It has a level modulation for Synchros. Whoa, I am lagging here. Whoa. Okay, we might time out of this duel. Whoa. Major lag. Nope. So they get another. Arriving lights. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. Let's them go into like majestic and stuff. What is that? Oh, right, the witchcrafter thing, right? No, this is the. I see, I see. Did you did you did you did you did you Mm-hmm. Got the adventurer combo back. Pretty deadly. I mean although this does seem to keep locking him, but I guess he's just basically He's basically using the right of Adam Asir to yeah, it's basically a deck thinner, and like all he's using it for is just a token, and then... <laughs> yeah, so... Pretty funny. Uh-huh. And then he's using Fateful Adventure to basically just make the deck consistent, you know? But yeah, this is a tuner. This is an easy for, you know, non-tuner. So, eh, kind of smart, actually. All right, and he has a level two tuner here. You know what, should I Ghost of a Grudge right here? Ooh. Looks like he's gonna combo off some more. Hmm. All right, I should definitely Ghost of a Grudge before this guy gets, this girl gets any more negation up. But most people, when they play Chaos Ruler, they loop it twice, so... I'll wait till Chaos Ruler is revived, and then, uh... I'll probably play Ghost. 
before they go into like Baron de Fleur with this and this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead and meal. And a lot of the Stardust support cards are light or dark, so. There's a Necro Synchron. Monster Reborn. Well, I'm glad to see you mill that. Necro Synchron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, so should I ghost here? Maybe I should have. No, okay, okay, okay. And then. Draw a card, special summon a tuner. Hmm. So there's the Majestic. Hmm. Should I play this now? No, because they're gonna... They've got a light and a dark, so they're gonna bring this card back. At least once. Yeah, so... Like I said, I should wait till it comes back. Alright, please don't go into Barone. I beg of you. Uh, either way, we might might have lost here, though. Well. <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. Well. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have done it, and then, uh, I don't know, man. I think I played it right, though, because even if I had ghosted there, uh, this can just change into the other Stardust, and, uh, Chaotic Ruler can come back regardless, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. By the way, I'm surprised he didn't just pop Barone straight up with that. Oh, no, but this is a win thing, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Still not popping with Brown. I guess he knows they don't matter. Wow. Alright, so Chaotic Ruler ought to come back now. Whoa. Special Summon. That's a big boy. Shooting Star Majestic Dragon. Okay. Battle phase. Ghost of a Grudge. You'll negate that, though. Oh, wait, what? Can banish this. Are we alive here? Uh, I'm sorry? Um, wow. I guess he wanted to keep the Barone? What? Oh, is it just coming back? Did it just affect dodge? Okay, yeah, it did, it did, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Wait, what? Why didn't this attack additional times? I'm sorry, what? This card gains one additional attack every battle phase for every monster in your graveyard that's a Stardust. Ah. Uh, oh, I guess he forgot to tag out for Stardust. Whoops. Uh, well, he should have finished this off there. Alright. Well, we can't really do much here, but let's just kind of mess around. We'll just try to get some special summons on the dailies or whatever. Okay. Ba -da -na -da -na. No, no, no. It's okay, buddy. Uh, and I don't want him to combo off for 12 turns, so let's just do this. Baron. Alright, there we go. <laughs> 
pretty interesting deck. Basically, that was a Stardust Turbo deck. Huh, it was weird. As soon as I saw the Junk Synchron, I was like, uh oh, Junk Speeder combos, but no. We didn't see Junk Speeder once in that duel. Pretty surprising, honestly. Let's see. Alright. Chat check. Chat check. I think we're good here. Huh. You know what? While I've got this up, let me, uh. <laughs> Let me kind of mess with my setup here. I think if I go back up, well, then I need to go back and forward. If I go forward a little bit, I think you guys might be able to see more of the gameplay. Whoa. There we go. Now let's try this and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Do, do, do. Maybe I go a little forward like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. I kind of cut off the card wall, but that's okay. Okay, but now I'm showing the desk, so we'll back up just a little bit. There we go. That should be pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. Let's see how Master Duel itself looks. Let's go in here and just kind of mess around. Change screens. Okay, let's go back and check. Check the... Screens. Okay, let's go back. Oh, okay, okay. So no, I almost had it about perfect, like right there. Let me see. Hmm. This will help me for future streams too, if nothing else. Or just regular videos on YouTube. Do 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 do. See, right there is about, that's about as perfect as I can get it. Yeah, yeah, because now you're not seeing, like, too much of my disc, too much of the wall. Mostly gameplay. Nice. Okay, I probably should have done that to start stream, but whatever. So, let's take a look. Go back into this. Check back. Yeah, that, that actually looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Like, I can cut off the right, the right side a little bit, and then we're really looking good, but honestly, that don't look too bad, bro. All right. Okay, I think we'll do, I think, let's say that I'll do, well, it depends if they're long or short duels, but I'll, I'll say let's do three more duels if they're, you know, kind of normal pace, like that last one, but uh, two more if they're, like, more than 15 turns. <laughs> If one's more than 15 turns, we'll do two. And of course, surrenders don't count. Surrenders and OTKs don't count in my book. If we get Numerons, which I'm surprised I haven't seen Numerons once yet. But uh, yeah, if we get OTK, I don't really count that. For once, we're going second, so that's kind of scary. We don't have Ash. Hmm. What are they playing? Uh-oh, Umi Control. Yeah, hmm. Let me just tell you guys, this deck against Umi Control, even Ice Jades, yeah, this deck does not perform well. I'll just say that. And if it's Goaty, well, I'll show this match, but any other Goaty match, yeah, we scooping, boys. We scooping. Because... <laughs> I mean, I mean, obviously I want stuff in the graveyard, right? So any deck that like banishes or, you know, negates effects, uh, not good. <laughs> yeah, and this counts as Umi, yeah? Mm-hmm. So... Well, each player's 
While Umi's on the field, each player can only control one face-up non-water monster. Yeah, and we play lights and darks, so... Not good. Now, he probably has a sea stealth attack. So... I'm gonna try for the back row, but, you know, unlikely. Unlikely this will work. Wow, what? I'm shocked. Okay. Well, if I want to go into reptiles, I have to do it this turn. So let's go for Kotal. Oh, Kotal can special summon off of Kotal. Wow. Did not know that. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I should probably go into this while I can, honestly. Yep, let's do it. Oh wait, they're both tuners. Oh, I think it's other effect. Yeah, yeah, I can wow. That is pretty clutch. Okay. You deal? Are you very soul? Reptilian. Mel. Ooh, Alright. Now, this has an effect when it's attacked, right? Uh, 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 when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card or targets this for an attack, you can activate this effect. The next time it would be destroyed by. It is not. Also, special summon a water from your hand or grave. Let's check the grave. Tremora. Uh-huh. Let's uh, try to trick him here. I honestly want him to proc the effect. Uh-huh. That way we can do this. Let's put Kai Ryushin down to zero. Definitely. Uh-huh. Continue to attack. Yep. Let's attack it again. Do 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 do. -do. All right. I may have should have gotten rid of Kairu Shin there, but uh, we'll see. Damage equals reptile. Hmm. I should save the alien cards. He might have lightning storm. Moshlar. Interesting. Mm hmm. Alright. Nope. 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 What you got, GHS? Oh, tch. man. Two pot of extravagance. That's a lucky star, bro. Yeah, he might be able to get us here, especially if he draws a kaiju or something. Yeah. Or just uses a bounce effect. Uh huh. I'll try to lower as much stuff down to zero as I can, but I'm pretty sure this deck has an out to uh, Melusine. So, yeah, I forgot Kairi Shin had the add effect too. Yeah, I definitely should have. Hmm. Uh... Yep, their sea stealth attack. I definitely should have taken out Kairi Shin last turn. That's my bad. That is totes my bad. Hmm. He can overlay into a five now. Or Synchro, or Link into a 2. That's one way to do it. Marine says... Hmm... I'm pretty sure Marine says have an out to this card, too. Uh, okay. Well, let's lower... Once again, Ocean Dragon Lord. Nope. So he's bringing back, uh, the Ice Jade one, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. I Gine. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's boy, he is. Uh, the card advantage is nutso. Do, 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 do. Okay. Marintas can combo for a long time, by the way. Mm hmm. Then target one con tar card your opponent controls, banish it. Yeah, that ought, that ought to do it right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do 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 Kosh Mushlar. And there it is. We're getting banished, boys. Do do and do and do do. Hey what? Why didn't we get banished there? 
I'm sorry. Does this not banish? Oh, I guess it does not. But he added a card that does, right? Huh. Guess he wants to combo first. Uh... Okay. Wait, am I negated here? Maybe I am. No, I'm not negated. Target one... Do, 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 do. I guess this counts as an equip effect, not a monster effect. That's weird. Well, there we go, boys and girls. Well, it should be over now. They can go into some more Marine Sith cards and just uh, OTK from here. Pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, Umi Control is very dangerous. Do, 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 do. Oh, whoops, 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 sorry. Don't want to time out. Just checking my chat, sorry, buddy. What? What? You didn't link? You didn't link off these zeros? Oh man, what are you doing? You didn't overlay these two threes? Oh, he's got only two cards left in his extra deck. Whoa, I didn't notice that there. Alright, because he extravagates twice. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. Now, I'm pretty sure with all this out, though, there's going to be so many interruptions that it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt we can do much of anything, but uh, that's still pretty funny that he couldn't OTK me. Well, he probably screwed himself because he extravagance twice, so yeah. That's pretty funny. That's pretty hilarious, I must say. Alright. What in no time? Water Lily, huh? Hmm. That doesn't really help us here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew he had sea stealth attack, so. But he does get, get to play an Umi from his deck or graveyard. So there's that. Well, I guess we'll just try to get as many gems as we can. Code A. I will show you the fact that I've bricked, my friend. Damage equals reptile. Ogdoatic Water Lily. Do, 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 do. So we'll send uh, Nunu. But we will special summon Nunu. Boop. And right here. If I was smart, I would put Nunu in attack mode. Now that I think about it. Because we have damage equals reptile. Huh, yeah, that's interesting. I could have actually been aggressive that turn, but uh, that's all good. Ba -na 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 -na. Wow, what did this do? Target one monster eyes. Smart, yeah. It's more of an ice jade control kind of deck. Huh. Nice. Oh, this got like a six Sam like effect. Not bad. I think six Sams do it better though. <laughs> Alright, that's one duel. And that was kind of a normal length one, so. Alright. Two more. And we're done with the stream today. Alright. So far I've been having fun though. It's been a good stream. Yeah, we'll go first. World Championship 2023. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Two bricks in this hand. No bueno. Um... Well... <laughs> Stealth Burster, it is. Hmm. Alright. No shotgun of the Max C in this one, huh? That's surprising. 
All right, let's see what we're up against this time. So we faced Ice Jade, Blackwing, uh, Black, no, Raid Raptor. Okay. Going after my one back row, huh? That's fine, I was bluffing, buddy. I was bluffing. Do, 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 do. Desires. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want Pot of Desires to get negated. Is this a Grin Maju deck? Ah, oh, there's very low chance of that. Ash Blossom in attack mode. They must have a monster that can special summon. Oh, no, they're just gonna link Karibu? Salaman Great Al Mirage. Okie dokie. I'm interested to see where this goes. I see, I see, I see. Using the effect of Micro Coder. Ah. This looks a little more normal. Access code time. Yep, and they get a side net, so they'll take mining. Most people take side net mining here. Oh, conflict. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, he already had mining. Aha! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I just like, wait, what? Compulse? This guy's playing some interesting stuff. But yeah, this is just a standard Cyburst Turbo Access Code Talker deck. It's not bad, you know. Not bad at all. But at least this should be a quick OTK. You know, eventually. Eventually. Do, 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 do. And so, the basic core of the combo is uh, a lot of the code talkers and code generators can uh, link from the hand. So, that's the basic basics. And then you just uh, climb into access code. And uh, some of the later code talkers can... Uh, oh, and yeah, Dotscaper can come back. So, see, yeah, some of the later co parts of the combo can come back, and basically you can get access code plus another link three. Access code to do 5700, and uh, transcode, or whatever else you need to do the other 23. So, yep. Pretty standard stuff. And then uh, when they link with Dotscaper, Dotscaper will come back. So... Or if they banish Dotscaper, it'll come back. Yep, two link threes. Deco Talker Heat Soul. Standard stuff, man. And then all they need is one more monster, and they can go into uh, access code. So, pretty easy. Alright, guess we'll use the effects. Oh, wait, we don't get the effects? Oh, no, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Are these cards immune to card effects? I guess so. Oh, three face downs. I guess we're living one more turn. Do, 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 do. But of course, he has the uh, he has the archetypal negate, so we're pretty screwed here. Okay, Ghost of a Grudge. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's try to bait the negate. <laughs> Maybe I can survive one more turn. Maybe. Yeah. Come back, Stealth Burster. He'll negate this for sure. Unless he has called by the grave. Which would suck. Yeah! Oh, a solemn warning. Woo! Nice. Nicely played. Yep. Okie dokie. Well, that's game. Because, uh, he still has the archetype on the gate. So, for like two duels in a. Two duels out of the stream, we've had Ghost of the Grudge, which sometimes this card can be hard to get online. But we've had it online, but, uh. But, uh. They've got. You know, they've got. Barone, or in this case, they got an archetypal. Uh. Basically, it's like an archetypal negate. 
pretty interesting. Yeah, we've had this card like online twice. It's just, yeah. Can't actually resolve it. That's the funny part. But he'll probably combo off for another, you know, another five minutes. <laughs> but it's all good, buddy. Uh-huh. Standard stuff. Yeah, Lady Debug's actually a big playmaker on this deck. It's kind of like a Stratos for the deck, really. And here comes the access code. Ready? It's the world's most boring finisher. Access code. Dun, 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 dun. And it's 5,800. Okay, do you want to activate a Carter effect? Yeah, let's try this. Kill us with a grudge. Show me that negate, buddy. Let me see it. Yeah, there it is. Yep, sign that conflict. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. But yeah, yeah, uh, for access code, you definitely don't want to... Uh, what you call it? You don't want to <laughs> wait till he tries to destroy it, because then you can't chain. Alrighty, so we lost the access code. Not the first time, won't be the last time. <laughs> but man, access is so commonplace in Master Duel. Like I said, it's, it's almost comically boring. <laughs> to get finished by access code. I prefer the spice. Alright. We'll check chat. Ch I almost said we'll chat check one more time. Yeah, let's chat check. And yeah. Almost a full two hours today, so that's good. Alright. Last duel... Do -do 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 -do. I'm surprised we haven't seen uh, Ishizu tears, tier elements. Like we haven't seen that the whole event. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it's on the the higher levels. You know, levels like ten and up. Wouldn't shock me. Or maybe the uh, did they limit some Ishizu cards? Honestly, I hope they banned the Ishizu cards for the event or limited them. You know, like one each. That'd be extremely helpful for me, specifically. But, uh, ooh, Alien Brain. I love this card. Okay, let's go with... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, standard Stealth Burster. Face down, that's it. Alrighty, your move. Let's see what you got, girl. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 15 card extra, standard stuff. 40 card deck. Um. Okay, this could be anything. Hmm. Oh, Sky Striker. Well, at least Sky Strikers don't banish or anything, so. Hmm. Huh. Sky Striker. Mm hmm. Hmm. Most Sky Striker decks struggle to put up damage, so we honestly might be here for a while in this duel. Mm -hmm. Oh, engage with only two spells in the grave. Feels bad, man. But they do get engaged first turn, so they can always recycle it with the Shizuku, or whatever it's called. Kagari. Yeah, Kagari is the recycler. Okay. Do 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 do. Still only two spells in grave, so that's lucky for us. Cause the more cards they draw, the worse it is, man. Okay. Wait, why did they destroy their own? Oh, I see. I see. They're going after the back row. Now that makes sense. I guess. I reckon. If they're afraid of back row, that is. Mm 
Okay, so they got to set engage. Oh, if we get a uh, lightning storm here, that'd be much appreciated. No, okay. Hmm. Alrighty, Stealth Burster. I guess he's reading our card. Okay. Zoha. Mm -mm. I should probably just attack and then uh, try any overlay stuff. Main phase two. We may not make it past uh, battle phase though. I think he got Widow Anchor, yeah? No, no, I guess not. Well, next turn they're going to draw a whole slew of cards, so we got to watch out for that. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we'll go into King of the Imps, and we'll get uh, Nunu out here. Overlay Network. King of the Pharaoh Imps. Alrighty, and I guess I will... Actually, let's put this in the graveyard, Zoha. Yeah, because I actually want to exchange Zoha for Aron here. Oh, clever. Yeah, Valor is good. So, no search for us. Okay. Not bad. Alright, so we'll activate Zoha. See ya, Aron. Alrighty, one more face down. Do, 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 do. They should Widow Anchor here. Oh no, they probably need a Sky Striker on the field to Widow Anchor. They'll get one though. They'll get one since they got engaged. So, okie dokie. And they got the field spell too, so. Yeah. I forget, does Widow Anchor destroy or steal? I think it steals. Which. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we got nine grand. I, <laughs> I've never been oak TK'd by strikers in my life by sky strikers. They just don't have the firepower. It's more about okay, you know, I'm gonna uh, use as many spells and get as many spells out of my deck. That's more of what it's about than uh, than sheer raw power. <laughs> what what would actually be funny is if uh, sky striker players played 60 card decks. With a uh, grass, their power level could actually get really, 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 really high because all of the uh, links, <laughs> all of the links gain like they modify stats uh, based on a hundred for every card in the graveyard. Well, except for this one. Yeah, Hayate can attack directly, but it also lets you get any card from your deck. Hayate is probably the best Sky Striker card. So. Another engage. Yep. And then, uh, what you call it, Kagari recycles. Yep. And then, uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? One of the other ones does modify stats. Does Kagari modify? Oh, yeah, gains 100 attack. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if, uh, if they played grass, they would actually, yeah. So this. Oh, it does steal. Wow. Okay. I mean, there's still no way they can OTK. But, uh, they'll probably just link that off for the end phase, so. Still kind of annoying. Yeah, see. They're just gonna straight up do that. And then they're gonna tag out main phase two. Tag this out with, uh, yeah. Tag this out with another Kagari and another... Hayate, probably. Another Kagari, and maybe the third one. Shizuku. Ba -da -da -da. But yeah, look at all the cards in the, in the hand, though. That's what Sky Strikers are supposed to do. It's crazy. Doot and doo doo doo. Engage again. Let's see that engage, buddy. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, they did link it off. Okay. That was right. 
Nightmare Phoenix, that's funny. You got debated hard on that one, buddy. I'm not even close to having a phenomenon out here, so. Yeah, you got baited. Jabated. Stealth Burster, let's go. Place two counters. If nothing else, that's good. Like, since since uh, their damage output's low, we'll just keep destroying their stuff. And, uh, yeah, try to keep it as low as we can. Do, 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 do. I forget what that one does. Uh huh. Just a nightmare, Phoenix, huh? Set engage. Ah, oh, set widow anchor. Smart, smart. And engage. Yep. Okay. Fine by me. Heart of the cards. Alien Omnite. Ooh, nope. <laughs> that would have been pretty good, though. Alright, Stealth Burster. See ya, chump. Get that out of here. Out of here, out of here. Losing my mind out of here. Oh, I guess I get to see what we what this does. Uh... Ah, smart. He tagged it out. Okay. Do 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 do. Tagged it out for there, Shizuku. Smart. Do 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 do. So this is the one that makes us lose stats. So we'll ride Jiki here. Just gonna go into another Shizuku. Um, no, that is Hayate. Okay. Let us go with. I'm actually gonna go for the crash here, or I'm gonna force her to a uh, Widow Anchor. Ba -na 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 -na. Crash. Do, do. Nice. Do, do, do. Oh, I wanted a uh, car too. That's why I sense you. Alright, we'll activate the effects. Do, do, do. So I get to add Nunu. Or should I take this? How many are in my graveyard? One, a two, a three. Hmm. Probably should take Nunu. That's the discipline play here. And then we'll send. Flogos. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, with Flogos in the grave. Ooh, maybe I should have taken Water, water Lily there. I mean, uh, the uh, dark one. Let me think here. Yeah, let's just use Nunu here. Oh, right. I forgot they had called by. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da -da. See ya, Nunu. 
No. Oh, well. All right, your turn. Yeah, I guess uh, the ch -ch -ch -ch, the dark one would have been a lot better effects because we couldn't have gotten called by. But it's all good. Now, 5,200, they might be able to put that out. We'll see. What is she, what you've got there? Alrighty. Rhoda, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, it might be over here. Mmm. <laughs> Hornet drone, yeah. Hornet drone is kind of necessary too. Excuse me. Another ray. Wow. Let's see some ka 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 combos. Dark. Well, that's new. Well, access code again. Yep. Are we going to see X? Well, first, uh, Unicorn, right? Aunt Mary Unicorn? Doot and doot 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 doot. Ba na 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 na. Oh, right. Uh, this stick does run Selene, doesn't it? Yeah, that kind of does make sense. And now you access code. Bam 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 bam. Ba da bam bam bam. Alrighty. Well, that's game, folks. Yeah. Oh, how thrilling! Another access code talker. I have never been so thrilled in my life. It's so innovative and new. I'd rather you finish me with Kagari, honestly. Like, if you could get Kagari up to a high enough attack to finish me with, you know, with 5200, that'd actually be impressive. But alas, it's just the boring old access code talker. Boo, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, that honestly sounds like a not only a fun deck to run, but uh, yeah, grass sky strikers, and you just put a bunch of different spells in your deck. <laughs> I guarantee you, if you resolved one grass, <laughs> and you started using engage over and over and over, man, you get so many people scooping. It's not even funny. Oh, I meant to uh, end stream there. Well, okay, I guess we'll do one more duel, and we'll end stream after this. Or we'll end it right now if it's a really, like, if it's a kind of anti-meta, like a really stall deck, we'll end it now. Going first? Wait, she let us go first? That's weird. Was she running Numeron? Numeron OTK? Wouldn't shock me. 60 card deck? Oh boy. Well, not a bad hand, but not a good one either. We'll just set telepath and a face down. Should I set two face downs? Nah. Just one. Oh, actually, I, I can actually leave this on because uh, limit reverse can't trigger, so. Alright. Can't see what that spell card is. I guess my game's lagging. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Um. Oh, MST. Well, MST. MST. What? Oh, it's just uh, pendulum magicians. Okay. <laughs> wow. MST. That is uh, shocking. Hmm. Let me think here. Hopefully that's not time pendulograph, although I have a feeling it is. I have a feeling that is time pendulograph. 
Okay. Hmm. Ooh, they got harmonizing. Yeah, this might be an OTK because they got a uh, Skull Performer Pal Skull Corbett Joker too. Ooh, yeah. This definitely might be an OTK. Mm hmm. Let's see. Well, we're seeing this monster a lot today. Yeah, Supreme King uh, Dark Rebellion. Pretty interesting. All right, well, if that's Time Pendulograph, we are screwed. Also, if it's called by, we are screwed. <laughs> there are a lot of things that can, well, I guess we don't have to worry about it anymore. Or do we? Hop is no Haneboshi. Mm hmm. It, it was time pendulograph. Wow. Alright. It was time pendulograph after all. Mmm. So we got rid of those. So now we want to Ammonite. Ammonite effects. Revive telepath. Attack mode. Now I actually don't want to go into uh hmm. Normally I'd go into into Golgar here. But this thing has the attack gain effect, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we definitely want to, once again, do what I did last time to out it, and go Echidna. Alrighty. Reptilian Echidna. And assuming Echidna goes off the effect, we can search for... Uh, Kotal. So let's lower this to zero. Nice. Kidna effects. Please don't have ash. Please and thank you. Let's go with Kotal. Nice. Alright, we're good here. Kotal effect, go. Summon. Alright. And so for the quick effects. Battle phase. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of this one. Once per turn before damage. Wait, this isn't a quick effect, is it? No, it's not. During the battle phase, quick effect. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, we should be good then. So let's go with... Yeah, let's overlay these two. Hmm. It's just that that other effect applies during his turn. Alright, Cosmic Slicer, Zero Wall. Uh, Zero Wall, yeah. Gladly take a uh, Stealth Burster. Thank you very much. Uh, yoink. Alright. And we got Limit Reverse to bring back Ammonite. Hell yeah. Alright, Battle Fox. You attack this. Force the quick effect if he's gonna do it. Oh, no way, he can do it. What? I was mistaken, big time. Huh. It doesn't say that first part's a quick effect, though. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Huh, so I did do it right last time by attacking with a kid in the first. That is weird, though. That is pretty weird, yeah. How that works. Yeah, oh well. It's all good, man. Nah. 
because we cleared his back row, he might be unable... If he's unable to Pendulum Summon this turn, we're in very good shape. Oh yeah, he hasn't gone into Electromite, though, yet, has he? Um, Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, that's a four. Hmm. And then here he's got a... Oh, ho, ho, ho. He had two more Pendulum cards and a 12? Oh, crap. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> Wait, you cannot Pendulum. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty screwed right here. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, I guess he can't. Huh. Or he just chose not to for whatever reason. Interesting. And he didn't attack either. Okay, assuming we can get out Golgar, I probably want to pop... Hmm. Probably want to pop this one, yeah? Yeah, probably, yeah. Hmm. During the end phase, you can destroy the... Uh, yeah, I definitely would have popped that one if I had the opportunity. So he gets to add a card. Hmm. Interesting. Stargazer, that is dangerous, yeah. Okay, so it's the end phase. Now we can play Limit Reverse anytime. Oh, don't play anything. Okay, so what we want to do here... Ooh, good card. Very good card, actually. Um, what we want to do here, though... Let's, uh... Make sure this goes through first. Limit Reverse. And if I do this right, I think I'll be able to loop Limit Reverse too, which is even better. Ammonite. Stealth Burster. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now it's your time, Cosmic Fortress Golgar. As long as Limit Reverse stays on the field, this is definitely what I'm going to do. Uh, go here. Yeah, baby. Golgar! Nice. Alright! We get the effect of Stealth Burster, too. Okay. Uh, just place the counters here for now. Okay, good, good. So... I guess we get rid of this card. Maybe I should get rid of his scale, though. Honestly. Hmm. I could do that. I could just get rid of his scale. Um, wait, what? Why can I not use the effects? Does it have a floodgate too? No, it does not. Planet Pollutant? Oh, there we go, there we go. I was like, man, why am I not getting the prompts? There we go. Okay. Destroy one card your opponent controls. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't able to Pendulum Summon last turn, so... Hmm... Maybe I should pop this, though. Yeah, let's pop this. Okay. And we'll use the effect to place counters. Place the counter. Yep, so I'll bounce Limit Reverse. And that is good. Alright. There we go. And then, uh... Set back limit reverse. <laughs> I guess we'll take out Joker, uh, because, yeah, all he's got in hand is Stargazer, so. If he wants to attack into me and use the effect, I really don't mind that so much. So. Alright, well, guess I end my turn. Hmm. And with Limit Reverse, we could always take back Echidna. This is all going to depend on what card he drew for turn. Honestly. 
But I'll be shocked if he fails the scales for three times in a row. That's crazy. That's some crazy good luck. Unless he plays Performer Pal Call. Like, if he plays that, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, okay. But, you know. Or, I'm sorry, Pendulum Call. Okay, so yeah, we knew he had that. That's a 1. Yeah, I was right to get rid of the 12, for sure. Uh, what's the other card in your hand, buddy? Oh, thank God. It was only a scale... Wait, it was a scale of 8. That's an interesting choice. Huh. Interesting choice. Cannot activate spell cards. Oh, okay. Okay. So he's definitely going to use the, yeah, the monster's effect here. Mm-hmm. That's fine, though. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Uh-huh. Oh, it changes me to zero, too. I forgot about that. That one hurt. That one hurts, huh? Well, luckily for me, I've got traps, not spell cards. Alright, ultimate combo time ready. I'll revive alien ammonites. And now I'll show you a horrifying combo. Gideo, blooded pollutant virus! So I'll tribute my alien ammonites. <laughs> I guess I could have done that regardless, but, uh, it's all good. Yeah, why didn't I just save my Golgar there? I don't know. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. That is great. That's like the best draw I could have asked for. Alien Ammonite. Once again. Alright, let's bring back Stealth Burster. Mm hmm. Attack mode. Okay, uh. Goldgar. Number two, yes. And we're gonna destroy the last card he has, thanks to Stealth Burster. Deal! My very soul! Ali Cosmic Putters, Goldgar! <laughs> yeah, Stealth Burster, activate your effects. Two counters. Man, this duo went about as good as I can expect. Alright, Golgar. Destroy the monsters. Wait, wait, does this have an effect when it's destroyed? No. Good. Yeah, because we don't want to scale potential scale one ever in his uh, pendulum zone, so bye-bye. <laughs> And, once again, I can place a counter on my Golgar. So, I'll return Limit Reverse to my hand. Oh, dude, Limit Reverse is too good. Nice. Alright, so I'll place this back down. Alright, battle phase time, baby. Attack. Yeah, now nah, we're doing good here. Heck yeah. I am the turn. So, Reptilian will have a Link 2. If I bring that back. And then if nothing else, we can go into Shock Trooper with uh, Zohan. A little more beefy. Alright. Man, we're doing so good here. Uh, what you got now? Just a monster. That's what I like to see. Setting. That's what I like. Alright. In phase, let's limit reverse again. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this time, let's bring back Echidna. I don't know if I'm ultimately going to link it or no, but, uh... Reptilia Echidna. Swing! Alright. Let's draw here. Stealth Burster. Oh my god. It is too easy. Alright. My turn. So what we want to do here is... Oh, what's going on? Stealth... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to destroy myself. Uh, let's put Zohan in the graveyard, actually. Yeah, I think this is the better call. 
So, we want to go into nothing Spanish, right? No, no, no. Let's go into this first. So, we'll do Echidna plus Zoha. Right here, still. Uh, Shock Trooper. I'm in Shock Trooper. In frame. There we go. That way... No, no, no. We don't want to give them options. That way we make the most of Limit Reverse. Activate effects. Place counter on the monsters. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got... I did. I decided to do one more duel on accident because... Yeah. I haven't got to show this combo off in this deck, but that's why Golgar is good, man. Self-bouncing is nice. Alright. And we detach two. To destroy a card on the field. Bye bye. What was it? What was it? Uh, double Iris Magician. Okay. Do, do, does she have an effect when destroyed? Or no, no, no. What's going on here? What's going on right here? Oh, it does have an effect. Ooh, you can add a Pendulum Craft literally a card from your deck to your hand. So sh she can get Time Pendulum Graph, Star Pendulum Graph. Uh, if a face-up leaves your field... Oh, okay. Not too worried about that. Let's just get in here for some damage, I think. Uh, oh, and what's cool is with Zoha in the grave, at any time I can send it to the grave. And then, uh... Uh, no. At any time I can send it to the grave, and then... Uh, wait... Oh man, I was off lethal by a hundred? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bruh. Did I miss game here? Is that my bad? Did I screw up? No, 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 I did normal summon. I thought I didn't summon, but I normal summoned the Zohan. That's right, that's right. Okay. Well, their one hope is to draw... Pendulum Call. So... Or to somehow... Be able to trigger. Let me read your effects. It's not bad. Yes. Oh, we win. Another epic win against pendulums. Yes, yeah, so we faced pendulum magicians twice. That's right. That was the other deck we faced. I can't think of. Nice. Get ten gems for that. All right. Well. That was a pretty fun end to the stream, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll collect everything we can, and uh, thank you guys for joining me. Or if you happen to watch the VOD or whatever, appreciate it. But yeah, that's going to do it for this stream of Master Duel. I guess we'll call this the World Championship Series, yeah, because this has been the first day of the event, and this goes until, what, oh, May 28th? Yeah, it's going to be a long time. So, that's the end of the world championship series for me uh world championship 20, 20, 2023 qualifier i guess i'll probably keep streaming uh at some point until the event's over because this should last quite a while and there are tons of rewards here so yeah why not but uh yeah i'll thank you all for joining me and i'll see you guys all next time Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a good night. Bye bye. There we go. And we just want to end stream here. Let's see. How do we do that? Do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, stop right there. Nice. Are you sure you want to end stream? Yeah. <laughs>